Thank you very much for allowing us uh, this uh, discussion. Uh, there's someone in your film that says uh, that nuclear, it's something that I really liked, it says uh, nuclear energy is like a new lung for our yeah, planet. Yeah. And um, it is... A third lung. A third lung, yeah. Um, and it is clear to me that uh, nuclear energy is the cheapest, is the most sustainable in time, and is also one of the few solutions to climate change. Yes. And still, 44 years after Chernobyl, Western Europe is afraid to really push this yes. agenda. So what will it take, really? Change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 44 years, it's actually 70 some years since uh, uh, Rick Over built the first reactors, you know. The uh, US built, Soviet Union built one in Obelinsk in 1954 with civilian uses, uh, used for pe peaceful purposes. And Eisenhower had, Rick Over built it in 1959 at Chippingport, Pennsylvania. And Eisenhower really, despite all the military shit that he did, buildup of the weapons, he also has had his idealistic side and he said, we can use nuclear power for civilian purposes and for the betterment of society. And he vowed to make it happen. And he, and he started it. And they built, they built almost a hundred reactors in, US, in yeah. the period, Eisenhower, John Kennedy, and they kept building. But after John Kennedy, uh, who was a dedicated to progress, he, the space race, nuclear energy, he was talking about after he died, uh, America, put it this way, went to Vietnam. I mean, everything changed with Lyndon Johnson. It was a whole different approach to the world, diplomacy. So the, it's sad. It's a sad story. In the same vein, nuclear was killed off in America by the protests against it, yeah. which came from people who were confused about the power of the nuclear bomb and the the actual power of nuclear energy, there is a huge difference. It's, nuclear power is not enriched uranium. Yes. Nuclear, for military purposes, you enhance it up to 80%, 90%. It's very hard to do that. It takes work, years sometimes of fucking around, and it's not simple at all. And anyway, it's monitored heavily. So you, can, you, you don't get away with it. You can, there's no secret regimes that build it. It's a complicated process. So we're talking about nuclear power here, which is civilian use. Yes. And these reactors are not dangerous that same way. They don't blow up like a bomb. The one at Chernobyl, the only accident, the real significant Indeed. accident, was in 1985 or six, six, six 86, yeah. at Chernobyl. And that was, frankly, it was a poorly designed experiment. They went wrong and they didn't have a containment structure, which is, necessary, sine qua non, for any kind of development of, of nuclear reg. We all have containment structures now. Uh, Fukushima had Same, a containment exactly. structure. So they had an explosion there, but it was a hydrogen explosion. It wasn't a nuclear explosion. One nuclear explosion at Chernobyl. Fifty men d died in the cleanup, first responders, because they were not well equipped. And the U United Nations went in exhaustively, so did World Health Organization, and there's been another one investigation since, and they come up with 4,000 possibly died from radiation poisoning. Afterwards. Afterwards. And those were the ones in Northern Europe or around that area yes. because there was that leakage and that big cloud of low level, low level uh, radiation. radiation went up into the skies, and of course, uh, who knows what happened then, but it seems mostly to have dissolved. And there's no evidence of two-headed babies and a next, another generation and all the shit you hear from the environmentalists who make a huge... In fact, they, they go so far as, oh, a million people died, you know, or a half a million or there's no 100,000. They throw out numbers like that. So when you read these articles, you get really confused. I was, but I had to source every one. I went to... The, I, went to I, I asked, talked to people. And thank God the UN has followed this thing very closely and done a good job. It's one of their best jobs. They have the IPCC, yeah. International oh. Government Panel on Climate Change, which has been monitoring climate change since the 1980s. They're right. Everything they said is right. Their, their targets, their, their graphs are right. And they're predicting this disaster in 2015. 15. That's why we set that timeline in the film. Our movie is about now, this next period. What do we do in these 30 years? Uh, I'm hoping for fusion. Nuclear fusion is a beautiful idea. It's great. I've, I've visited the lab at, recently at 
Princeton, not Princeton, but MIT, plasma, f plasma fusion. Beautiful, beautiful idea. It's possible, but not right now. It's just isn't, it's not practical in terms of cost. So we'll hope for the best, but in, there's nothing wrong with fission because it works. It's been proven to work. It has to be handled well. It's like any chemical fa factory or any oil or any, any, anything involving these elements is, takes requirement. Do you remember the Bhopal accident of 1984 or 5? Bhopal in India, 20,000 people died in Chemi a gas Chemi explosion. Chemi yeah, exactly. For, uh, Union Carbide, I think it was. Carbide, yes, yeah, indeed. Mm -hmm. That's a huge accident. But by this metric, we would not even drive a car, if, right? If that had happened in nuclear, they would have killed. Yeah. People would have gone crazy. We're lucky to have one accident because then people would say, okay, yeah, like, any business, any, any industrial process is dangerous. In the air are arsenic, lead. Lead is very dangerous. And fertilizer, producing fertilizer makes ammonia. I mean, these are shit. This is what's causing most of the planet to get warm. Is that they're all going up there because we don't monitor them. The waste from a uh, nuclear aid, uh, plant is monitored heavily. Is heavily to watched the last for run. years. Yes. They they have to put it in underwater, and then they put it in a, in a cask, 18 feet high, the concrete cask with metal in it. Radi it do radiation does not penetrate concrete, and then they keep it there for a hundred years, and then, if necessary, another hundred years. Then, if you really want to really bury it forever, you, the Finnish are doing this new deep burials, and the United States could do that too. But I, you know, we're not talking about a, a thousand years from now, or five hundred, even two hundred, or a hundred years. We got to deal with these thirty years. Yeah. That's what's pissing me off. Is that how stupid people can be when they have? So much waste in the air. They're talking about the danger of nuclear waste. Yeah. Kim, the cheese. Yeah. Um, so I'm. Last question. I'm. Uh, crazy. I'm. Um, I I'm wish a... Einstein were around. <laughs> Einstein would you settle have... this fucking thing. Because only you need authority. <laughs> I'm a Chernobyl girl, in the sense that we are less than thousand kilometers from Chernobyl, and we are less than thousand kilometers and from Zaporizhia. Are you radiating? No, of course not. So I was young, we got a iodine peel, no information really. And, and today we have Zaporizhia, the, the largest nuclear center in, in Europe. And there's a lot of information. There was no information in the communist right. for us. Right. So that we were not scared, you know, the parents gave and that's... So my question is, is there not a fear for us people who want to advance the nuclear energy agenda. Is there not a fear that this ha kind of war situation that is happening near Zaporizhia will even mo add even more fear on the Western yeah, agenda? Sure it will. On this? Sure it will, because it's all suspicion. And yes. it's paranoia. And, you know, I, uh, I followed this uh, Ukrainian situation with that plant, and I've talked to several scientists. Yeah. And, uh, frankly, they all say the same thing. I, mean, I forgot the details. There were five reactors. They're down. Five or six. Six. Six reactors are down. They say, and there's a cooling pond. There, of course, there was a the, dam with the explosion. The dam, but there's a yeah. cooling pond that's still available. You, you know, it, it will scare people again. You think? What? It will scare people again. Well, it's probably yeah, it probably will. They yeah. use it, but it's not dangerous in the way that no. uh, that Chernobyl was. It's a uh, different plant. No, nothing's you, you you can drive a, a plane a 911 plane into into the top of that uh, uh, what do you call it yeah, the structure. Uh, yeah. reactor and mm -hmm. it won't blow up because it's built that way it's built to sustain the safest place to be in a nuclear war is inside there. A, a nuclear <laughs> reactor you know so there's a lot of fear it's like shark jaws i mean yeah. jaws is the stupidest movie of all time but it's a great movie but it's <laughs> stupid because it scared the world away from the water People go still. Years, oh, there's a shark out there. You know, the, the mention of a shark drives people crazy. Same thing with nuclear reaction. So maybe young people who are not contaminated uh, by by anti-nuclear protests in the past and by That's the right, history. Yeah. They is, didn't grow up with the Vietnam War didn't. and all that stuff. So should climate change then um, be a study or the advancement of uh, clean, good energies like nuclear energies should be? 
uh, featured into the yes, education it should of be. young it guys? it should be, but it isn't. And unfortunately, in a lot of universities, they don't teach. Yeah. They teach climate change and they tell you a lot of bullshit, I think. Mm. So it's really a tough issue. That's why I made the movie. Yeah. Because nuclear is not <laughs> understood yeah. properly and it's not on the agenda. When I went to Davos with uh, the in film... January. In January. Yeah. I was shocked. It's not on the agenda. And all these these uh, pompous types are walking around like, well, I forgot the head of the thing, was the, these German guy. You know who he is. Yeah. The Chancellor? No, the organizer. Uh, uh, he, that was yeah, this he, guy. Oh, 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 he gives out awards and all this. And they talk bullshit because they're not dealing with nuclear, which is one of the great gifts nature gave us. Great gift. So, and by the way, I talked to a lot of CEOs, and they're all pro-nuclear. Yeah. But then nobody seems to organize it in a way that, in any case, it's not going to be possible to make a United Nations of energy because all these countries are going to do it differently. It's just going to happen that way. And India has a lot of sun, so they make solar makes more sense, and Denmark has a lot of wind, so turbines make more sense. But the truth is, they all need backup, and backup is nuclear. It should be Absolutely. nuclear. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I had two more okay. questions. But okay, go know. ahead. That's yeah. Right. You're, you're, I like her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's one thing that that is a little bit contradictory. The politics in Europe now is uh, in the hands, especially in Germany, is in the hands of these green people, and green people they advocate for wind and solar, who are more expensive, not sustainable, not easy to produce. I mean, on a time like this, you don't have uh, solar, do you? While the uh, nuclear energy doesn't feature into this. Is this not a fatal mistake, well, with the exception uh, of France, I mean? Well, that's, that's obvious, yes. The it is. Nuclear so that works 24-7, at roughly 90% capacity, sun, and they're doing a lot to improve it, but it depends on your climate, you know. In Germany, it was running at 11% capacity in Germany because there's not that much sun. Wind was doing better in Germany at 25%, but you still need backup for that 25% yeah. and then 11%. But each country is different. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not, you can't make a standardization for every country. Some countries should, but the point is we've got to get the grid with the grid for each country has to work in its best way possible and they're not using nuclear enough now because in the poorer countries are coming on now Russia's playing a huge role in Eurasia yes. as is China in creating a new system of grids China is going to build a better and better grid it's not because they're building more they have to get off coal China's a big uh, offender it. And, and the United States still does a lot of coal. With the 20% of our, so of our energy the, comes from coal. It's the Western world that's lagging behind because Russia and China are, are driving this. They're doing it right. And also, and then they should do it more. More. But the, the West is attacking, so it's, it's yeah. very. They got to also pay. They got to say, oh well, well now we have another problem. We got to deal with them. So it's like <laughs> it's like almost like democracy stands in the way of this development. In a strange in a sense. way, yes, you're absolutely correct. Democracy can be. Uh, can be a, uh, hypocritical, it can be also uninformed. Because, yes. Uh, and the me and media plays a huge role here. Media still says things like, you, still says things like nuclear, yes, but it's dangerous. But it's dangerous is not correct. Okay. You really have to study industrial accidents and the, the death rates of all these uh, uh, fossil fuel firms to understand that it's compared to what? Ask yourself, compared to what? Yeah. Always. We are not fooling ourselves. I mean, your film says 2050. We're trying not to, no. We're trying to get to the point. Yeah, 2050 is like tomorrow. Well, no, we have to. We can do a lot. We can do a lot, as, you as we showed that? in the chart. We, if we could get 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 the momentum now, that would be the beginning. And it, believe me, the human race is pretty smart. They'll build fast when they figure out that we can build nuclear at a price and build it. They'll build fast. And China is not spending a lot like we are. We don't know how to build anymore in America. Big stuff. We can build the SMRs. SMRs are great. Yeah, and they're sleek and they look good and they're fancy. Cheaper. It's a new thing, guy like iPhone, so people get excited. But it's not going to solve the bigger issue. The bigger uh, issue, which is the globe. The globe. You have to think globally, act locally. Is that what that was the expression? Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm so happy. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Thank you. Yes, Alexandra. Yeah, yeah. You see, this woman is smart. <laughs> Instead, I have to put up with the previous... Uh, no, because I, I, I believe in Ukraine. I'm very happy that... Uh, well, I'm you're smart. You can tell. This, uh, yes, thank you.
Vă mulțumim că ne-ați urmărit, sperăm că v-a fost de folos și vă invităm în comunitatea noastră a Societății Omului Sănătos. Thank you.